top of the morning, friends and family. How you wonderful, good people, people doing today? Mm -hmm. I had huge plans to make a very nice cinematic music Monday for you guys. And we've got some uncharacteristic rain here in California. And I really, it was an outside venture. I was gonna fly the drone around and do all kinds of, and it just kept on not working out. The rain would keep coming. And then I, you know, long story short, I really wanted to do it. And then I had band practice today and Hillary's gotta go to work soon. So I, I'm just, there's not gonna be enough time to film something and edit it before tomorrow morning. Which by the way, if you guys didn't realize, I put these videos up not the same day that I record them. That would be insane. I put stuff up at 6.15 in the morning. To film, edit, and put a video out the same day at 6.15 in the morning, it's virtually impossible. So just make sure you guys know that. There was a comment on there correcting me on what day it was when I was filming one of the previous vlogs. I was like, well, no, it's not actually. I don't put it up the, I don't put it up the same day I record it. But I do, I guess where it gets confusing is if I was doing Music Monday, I don't actually film Music Monday on Monday because I'm putting the video out on Monday. Same with like serenading the serpent or socializing the snake Saturday. I didn't film that on Saturday and then put it up at 6.15 in the morning. That would be insane. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna talk to you guys for a bit about stuff. I thought maybe I'd read through some of the comments on the last video because there were some really good ones and then maybe I'll make fun of some of you guys too because like things like thinking that I film the same day. If you got thin skin, maybe don't, and you commented on the last video, maybe don't pay attention to this video because uh, I might make fun of you. Although I'm not very good at making fun of people I haven't met yet. I make fun of people I know a lot better than people I don't know because I, I don't have that, that really mean bone in my body where I have the heart to just make fun of people pretty heavily that I don't know because who knows, maybe they're having a bad day and I just ruined it even more. But no promises. One more thing I want to talk about before I read these, this channel in particular, like recently we've had a lot of snake related content just because there's, we've had a lot of snake stuff going on between eggs hatching and snakes having to go to the vet and you know trying to socialize this big pie that we've been thinking about doing for a long time where the funny thing is that I started this channel so that I could do anything on it. You know, and Triple B TV was gonna be all snake related. And now, Triple B TV is like mostly people and interviewing people. I mean, we do bring animals on the show almost every episode, but it's definitely about the person that I'm interviewing on Triple B TV. And the, the point I've started in this channel is so it could be more about my life in general, not just snake and reptile related stuff. But now all the content on this channel has been like snake related stuff and Triple B TV is all about people. <laughs> And we, it seems like the snake content has been really well received recently, so I like I kind of want to stick with it, but at the same time, this channel is about me. So there's a lot more to me than just snakes, so I hope those of you that are just here for snake stuff will stick around even if we don't always have snake stuff. And also, maybe y'all can leave comments down below and say what is your favorite thing about watching this channel? Because there's tons of channels out there that have reptile stuff, there's tons of channels out there about people, about all this different stuff. What is it about our specific channel? that keeps you guys coming back to watch every every week or many times a week or whenever if you watch every single video especially like what is it why do you come back to watch this channel i'd like to know in the comments down below please boys are over there catching gruesome clickets right now in the rain i got one <laughs> what do you know i know bugs what about bugs that's they are not dangerous but some of them are dangerous. Some of them are very dangerous. So bugs are not dangerous and they are? Well, most of them aren't dangerous. But some are. What do you, what do you know about Jerusalem kids? Well, they can play dead so that Predators won't eat it because they're not scared. Because predators aren't scared. Eli, what? What? what do you know? I know. What about Jerusalem crickets? That they don't have the powerful spite with those little tiny. Thanks, Dan. That's all I know. Okay, so comments. So there are several about the same topic. Let's see. Ryan Gilliland said, Good try. I agree with you regarding the next interaction by just holding her. Maybe try putting on some small straps of grip tape on your gloves. Love watching. Keep trying. Chris Petit 
said, love what you're doing, but I think you need to be able to get a grip on her. Keep trying. You can do it. We'll just take time, like you said. Miss Puppy Saver for life. You definitely need different gloves to get a more secure grip. I admire you for what you're trying to do with Grumpy. So yeah, lo lots of comments about the gloves and, and getting better grip. I agree. It's, it's, they, they did have grip at one point. And I think working with her so much with those gloves on that she's just look, like rubbed off the... Uh, they've got like little silicone circles that are on those gloves. And I think those got rubbed off. And uh, so she just slides right through. And some people recommended like baseball gloves and other kind of gloves, but the thing about these gloves is they're bite proof. And the big deal with her is her biting my hands. Cause she grabbed my hand before one time right here, just grabbed it and bit and then let go. And I couldn't feel my fingers for a few days or maybe even a whole week it was. It, I just remember it being like, this is not good. I cannot, do not want to take another bite to the hand like that, but I use my fingers a lot for stuff and it's like playing guitar, little tiny fine motor skill things with my fingers, and I just I I don't I don't want to lose the feeling of my fingers indefinitely or even for any amount of time, for that matter. So these bite-proof gloves are kind of necessary to my process. Uh, John over JW International Exotics has possibly worked with her in her container, and get her used to being touched and let her bite the gloves. Nice job, brother. And there were there were several comments uh, about maybe just leaving her inside her enclosure and and touching her and getting her used to it. And um, I'm, I'm open to that idea too. I, I think that could possibly work and that might be something I try going forward. Um, I'm, I've been I'm scrolling through these comments and actually there's like lots of good ones and there's not really much to make fun of down there. So today it's a blessing and a curse that I get such great commenters down there in the comment section. Uh, yeah, I don't know. There were also a couple comments about uh, taking her outside, which I was my idea originally to begin with and then Garrett had recommended that maybe taking her outside wouldn't necessarily be a good idea because she'd be more freaked out in the big open space versus a room that she's been in for the past year or so and kind of used to the surroundings. So I think I'm going to try a, there's a whole different, well, there's a whole wealth of different things I'm going to end up trying I think over the course of time and just kind of see what she responds to the best but I do appreciate you guys with all your, uh, your helpful comments down there. It's going to be a short video because I got I got to take care of the kids here in a minute and uh, I don't really I don't feel like wrangling everything at the same time. So I apologize again that there's no real music for this Music Monday. It's not a Music Monday. There's no music today. Uh, one other thing I want to touch on is my own, another one of my own kind of personal failures. I, I embarked on a no sugar challenge and I actually failed on it way back, uh, back at Tinley, March Tinley. Uh, they had like pizza and, and soda during lunch and... It's uh, it's still a struggle for me. I haven't I haven't given up, which is a good thing. You know, I haven't gone back and regressed and just been like, oh, whatever. I've still been like doing intermittent fasting every other day, and I've still been going to the gym and working out and exercising and getting back into ketosis. After after Tinley weekend, I got back into ketosis, and then I, I've gotten out again. Then I've gone back in, so it's still a struggle for me. It is the as I mentioned in that first video that this is probably gonna be the hardest thing I ever tried to do in my life. And it's not a joke. And sometimes I feel ridiculous a little bit because it's not like I'm in the worst shape. I didn't start out in the worst shape. You know, I'm in pretty decent shape to begin with. But it's just hard for me to, uh, it's hard for me to control what it is I put in my face, apparently. It's, it goes back to like drug addiction. You know, I beat that, but this is a little more tough. And you gotta take off? Yeah, are you live? No, I'm just, no, I'm just I recording. I gonna like put something in your face. <laughs> you can put something in my face. Let me come in and give your give your two cents on. I'm talking about my failure on the You're sugar not challenge. Failing. Huh? You're not failing. I mean, you didn't do no sugar for a year, but who's gonna do that? <laughs> well, I was no person to. on this earth. Okay, I'm not gonna say that. But not many people, especially in a Western society where. It, they put sugar into so much food. It's not like it's just your fault. It's a societal problem that they add sugar into things like ketchup or barbecue sauce, you know, stuff like that that doesn't need sugar in it. They just add it in because they, they ups their sales. What about when I order a pizza and drink soda? <sighs> yeah. I mean, the soda, the pizza, I mean, yeah, I mean, they're both not great, but, but what about it? I don't know. That's that, that's not a societal no. issue. That's no. me failing. <laughs> yeah, but uh. I think you also. I think like what I've learned with kind of going to extremes with different diets and stuff is that it's just 
about finding a healthy balance where you're healthy, but you indulge in things on occasion and you appreciate them when you do, but you realize that that is not nourishing your body and your body does not want and need that type of stuff. But it tastes good, so you're going to enjoy it. And then the rest of the time, you eat food that's going to nourish your body and do what food is supposed to do. That is kind of where I've been at. That's the point I was actually going to bring up is that I have been kind of on that level. Like, I, I, I don't, I'm not just going down a path of just eating pizza and drinking soda no, every day no, all day not long. At all. Like, yeah. I, I finding a balance been... is definitely some finding a balance. That's the, the tough thing for me, not yeah. being like too extreme on the other end. I, I, I feel like I'm getting people. a little closer. I think you are totally. Yeah. I've been impressed with you lately. I mean, not this last week, but before that. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I'm, I, I am proud of you. I feel like you're on to a, I feel like you kind of got over the hump when you like cut out sugar for a little while and you saw that you can do it and that you're okay. And so now you know what, and you were feeling really good. And so it's like, now you know what that feels like. I think you're being a little hard on yourself. All right. That's what everybody always says that in the comments. So you're being too hard on yourself, Brian. I got to be hard on myself or I'm going to not be hard on myself at all and then I'm just gonna not care about anything and everything's gonna go out the window I need to be hard on myself yeah I, I agree I am that way too with certain things yeah. yeah to an extent I think some people need to be harder on themselves <laughs> <laughs> maybe everyone well, not anybody a in my comment section Every, everybody in my comment <laughs> section is awesome you guys don't need to be hard on yourselves you guys are doing great <laughs> keep up with the comments mm -hmm. cold. cold yeah cold rainy I was planning to do like this whole like cinematic with the with the drone like thing and for Music Monday and obviously it's not happening so. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta go to work. Love you. Do you need the seats? Yes, because we're going to see Grandma. You're going to see Grandma? We're going to Morro Bay. You are? Oh yeah. That's yeah. Right. Okay. 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 Do you have enough gas so I should just take your truck? Mm, you'd have to stop and get gas. Mm. I think it's getting. I've been driving around like that for a little while. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't have time to do that right now. Yeah. Okay. So let's switch the seats. Okay. Bye. Bye, guys. Sorry. Next Music Monday will be more musical. <laughs>